Hey, it's Shane from GotRom.com. I want to talk about how I got flexible by stretching wrong. So what do I mean by that? Well, conventional wisdom about flexibility and stretching is that there's two big no-nos. One, you never bounce when you're stretching. And two, don't add weight. Because if you add weight, your muscles are going to contract and they can't relax. And it wasn't until I started adding bouncing and loaded stretching into my routine that I really broke through some plateaus and got more flexible than I ever could have imagined. So I want to illustrate just two small ways that both bouncing and adding weight to stretching, when done carefully and appropriately, can get you farther into stretches and make you more flexible. So here's what I mean. People think about stretching their hamstrings and the first thing often to think about is your basic forward fold in yoga. Now, I did yoga for years and it was just kind of, you know, raise up and relax, raise up and relax, you know, that basic sequence. You know, they say don't ever bounce here. If you bounce, you're gonna hurt your back or something. Well, that's only if your back is in a bad position. If you know what a two-rounded back is or what a back that has just a little bit of roundedness, then you know the difference between when you're at risk and when you're not. And that's something that you have to learn over time, of course. So I wouldn't recommend a beginner get in here and start bouncing away. But once you're kind of, you've done a ton of forward folding and you only are feeling it in your hamstrings, it's okay to start incorporating gentle bouncing, aka ballistic stretching. So here's what I mean, instead of just raising and releasing or breathing and relaxing, I like to interlace my fingers, turn them down, tuck my chin, and bounce. This feels like it kind of pulses me a little bit farther than I could get if I was just breathing and relaxing like this. So you can bounce like this, or you can lock your elbows, tuck your chin, and kind of bounce in this direction. And it just feels, what it feels like once you kind of get good at it, it feels like you're just nudging your range of motion a little bit farther over time. What you're doing is you're telling your muscles, hey, this new range is okay, it's safe, you can go there. And you can get really, really flexible using that over time, and there's all kinds of different uses. Another thing is loaded stretching. They say if your muscles are contracting, they can't relax, that doesn't go hand in hand. And I've just found that the most flexible people on the planet, gymnasts and martial artists and um, advanced kind of movers, uh, that's not what they do in practice. And so before going to kind of the scientific literature and the research, I go to who's flexible and what are they doing. And then you can see if it's backed up by some kind of scientific study, and it doesn't even matter if it is, because often science is 10 years behind what the cutting edge people in the field are doing. So one example of loaded stretching that can help you, again, in that same hamstring forward fold position, is getting a barbell and standing up on a box, elevated platform, with your toes on the edge, and simply doing a deadlift. You can do this with a flat back or with a rounded back. The important thing is that you don't overly round your back as you're going down and don't feel any stress in your back. So I start, I go as flat as I can, as low as I can, and then I let my back round a little bit, but I never let any bad feelings of tension happen in my back. So the weight of this will pull me deeper into a hamstring stretch. Now my hands, if I was on the floor, my hands would be through the floor. I'm contracting my quads so my hamstrings can relax, and I'm breathing and sinking. I don't really add loaded stretching and ballistic stretching together. I kind of keep them as separate modalities because it doesn't feel intuitive for me to do that. I mean, with light enough weight, it's okay, but Loaded stretching on its own is a great thing. Ballistic stretching on its own is a great thing. It's what the most flexible people in the world are actually using and doing. So if you are intermediate to advanced in your flexibility career, it's not the first time you've ever stretched, learn about ballistic stretching, learn about loaded stretching. They're great techniques, great modalities. I think you really enjoy them, so give it a shot. Yeah. Be, be.